Today we celebrate engineers who have worked, sometimes tirelessly, and at their own expense, to improve the human condition. This is not to diminish the same work of scientists who have done the same thing. An engineer takes the work of the scientist and makes something useful from it. Arthur Harrington invented the Jeep. During World War I, he started to work on a new design for military trucks for rough terrain, the smallest of which was the quarter-ton Jeep with four-wheel drive, that became the prototype for various models built in the 1930s and the 1940s. The Jeep served in World War II as a litter-bearer, machine-gun firing mount, as engineered by Colonel George Patton, reconnaissance vehicle, pickup truck, front-line limousine, ammo-bearer, and taxi. Hyman Lippmann invented the pencil eraser attached to the end of the pencil, this made it handy for the user, because it was always available. It also demonstrates just how optimistic that he was. The eraser is much shorter than the pencil itself. Napoleon Guerin invented the egg incubator in 1843. This greatly increased the number of chickens that could be hatched. The metric system was invented in 1791 by a team of French engineers. It was a much better fit for our numbering system and greatly improved scientific and engineering calculations, which reduced the number of errors in the lab. The fact that the US still used the old system cost NASA millions of dollars, when different engineering teams were flip-flopping between the old system and the new system. While most of the metric system's units are based on the number 10, time is not, it is interesting to note that a committee of 12 was set up to develop the new measurement system. The fact that there were 12, is of historical significance, and it is the same reason why we have 12 members on a jury. Traditionally, one jury member was selected from each of the zodiac signs. You know, one Libra, one Capricorn, and one Sagittarius, and so on. This, it was believed, would give the accused a fair trial, since there was one of each of the different mindsets on the jury. Gustave Eiffel was a French-born civil engineer. His most notable achievements include the Garabit Viaduct and work on the Statue of Liberty. The famous tower in Paris is named in honor of his company, which was designed and built, much to the chagrin of the Parisians. Modern skyscrapers would not be possible without the work of Eiffel. Neil Armstrong is best known for being the first man to set foot on the moon, but that is just something that he did once, and was the product of the tireless work of thousands of engineers. He, himself, was an accomplished engineer, as well as a pilot. Hedy Lamar might not be a name you would associate with engineering, but as it turns out, she was an accomplished inventor. Her work on spread spectrum communications would provide the key to many wireless communications that we use today. James Clerk Maxwell was Scottish by birth, and would go on to become a leading figure in mathematical physics. He is also widely considered to be the founder of modern electrical engineering. Jack Kilby is another of the greatest engineers of all time. An American electrical engineer, his greatest achievement was the creation of the first working integrated circuit while working at Texas Instruments in the 1950s. It turns out that Jack's success grew out of what others would have called boredom. He started at Texas Instruments at a time when everyone else in his department was away on vacation. Rather than just wait for instruction, Jack set out to solve a problem without distraction or interruption. For this work, he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2000. Encourage Engineering